Well, here we are, everybody. It is now February 20th of 2022, and ever since the very end of the Book of Boba Fett Chapter 7, a lot of Star Wars fans have really been look looking forward to exactly what's in store between both Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and George Lucas for other new Star Wars TV shows that are about to be announced at Star Wars Celebration this year, by the way. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at MikeZero1 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and really make sure to interact with you guys further. So it's even all the more exciting right now is that yes, we have a lot of projects that are currently in the works between Disney and Lucasfilm, George, John, and Dave, and new creators coming on board, including director Peyton Reed, who, by the way, handled Mando Season 2's finale. He's also going to be involved with a ton of other new Star Wars projects, be it live action or animated. So that's another thing to look forward to. But one thing that we always have been wondering about for the very longest time is exactly whether or not John, George, and Dave are going to be able to pull things off for this new Star Wars universe in the long run, right? In the grand scheme of things, will they pull it all off in the years to come for the future of the Star Wars franchise? I believe that they will. I really do have a lot of you know, faith in George, John, and Dave, since they are going by a lot of Star Wars Legends material that's going to be making its way into the Star Wars universe, and how that's going to be combining with the Disney canon in a very well and balanced out order. So that's one thing to actually keep in mind here, is that they really are making sure that they want to satisfy the majority of both hardcore and casual fans alike in a balanced matter. So on top of all of this, what's even all the more intriguing has everything to do with what exactly is happening between George Lucas and, of course, Disney CEO Bob Chapek, which, by the way, is really working on a lot of stuff right now when it comes to Marvel and Disney and, of course, you know, Star Wars overall. So with that being said, of course, with both Disney and Lucasfilm getting ready to begin filming the Ahsoka Tano TV series by this April, Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are prepared to make a series of announcements of new shows at Star Wars Celebration that will surprise the fans. Now further, it's described, however, that creator George Lucas recently was able to get involved with two major Star Wars projects that will truly satisfy the fans that will dive deeper into the Star Wars lore than ever before. Now, one thing that Lucas was able to push for Disney to do was to include him as a co-writer for the upcoming Old Republic Star Wars TV series for Disney+. Plus. However, what Lucas pushed for Disney to do with the Old Republic series was to make it into a multi-season TV show instead of an event series and making the show include multiple years in the actual TV series. Now, further, it's described that Lucas will be calling the shots over how characters like Darth Malgus and even Darth Revan will be handled in live-action form for the new show that is set to debut in 2025 and will begin production by 2023. Now, this is where things begin to really pick up, is that the series is set to span throughout multiple years to cover all of these different characters that are based within the Old Republic timeline. So it's a very interesting way that George Lucas is going about doing all of this as a co-writer and really kind of approaching this with Dave, with Dave Filoni and John Favreau by his side and how Bob Chapek is allowing them to all do this together. Now, the fact that, yes, the Old Republic is a broad you know, thing in Star Wars it really is. It goes throughout many, many years and many different characters. And basically this TV show, it's not going to be an event series. It's not going to be a one-off show where it's like, here's just one season and that's it. That's what they're not doing. They're making this into a multi-season Star Wars show, meaning that we could very well have, you know, four, maybe even six seasons for all we know, depending on its success. And that's really going to cover all of these different years, all of these different points in time within the Old Republic era. So keep that in mind there, is that they really are doing everything that they can to really bring Star Wars back to its roots. And they really want to make it as accurate as possible to the Old Republic video games and books. Now, further from this, Lucas is also co-writing another Star Wars series that will dive into the criminal underworld with a new series simply dubbed as Star Wars Underworld that will feature a host of new bounty hunters, dark side users, and even crime syndicates in the Star Wars world. Planets such as Coruscant and the favored location known as Nal Hutta and Nar Shadda will be also touched on in this new series to really give that blend between Star Wars and Blade Runner in the new Star Wars TV show for Disney+. Plus. 
Now, creators John Favreau and Dave Filoni will also be involved with the Old Republic and Underworld series, as they will be helping Lucas develop all of these fan favorite characters. Lucas is said to be taking many notes and ideas from Star Wars 1313, a canceled video game, to implement all of that into Star Wars Underworld and essentially putting that into the form of live action. As for the Old Republic, Lucas will also be introducing new characters based in this point in time in the overall universe that will interact with characters like Malgus, Revan, Darth Sion, and even new tales of Darth Bane will be explored in the Old Republic TV series. Now, Disney is said to make this the highest budget when it comes to Star Wars shows, as they will be using tons of practical effects. The same goes as follows for the Star Wars Underworld project. These new series, of course, are going to be considered as part of the second batch of Star Wars TV shows that will be upped in scale and in budget to really give them that true cinematic feel for it all. And that's another thing to actually take note of here is the fact that Basically, what they are doing is that they are going to make them feel like movies. They're going to give them that real, cinematic, high-budget feel on Disney+. Plus. And I will agree, at this point, you might as well just make them into the form of movies. You know, why not? The problem is that they have a lot of slots filled for new theatrical releases of Star Wars coming up, including the two trilogies that we spoke of and the standalone movies. One of which is going to be done, by the way, by Kevin Feige and we have other Star Wars TV shows that are also being developed that are going to tie directly into other Star Wars movies as well. So on top of this, all right, with Lucas already beginning to look for experienced writers and directors besides Favreau and Filoni to handle these projects, they will also be hiring very well-known Star Wars actors and or actresses for these new Star Wars TV shows alike. Now, the thing that I like about their approach to Underworld is that it's going to be, quote unquote, a blend between Blade Runner and Star Wars. And I can see where they're getting that blade, you know, that blend, I should say, from Blade Runner from, is that they're really diving into that true Star Wars city feel, right? giving us that urban feel of Star Wars, diving into the depths of Coruscant and Nar Shaddaa and Nal Hutta. You know, we're really going to be learning a lot more about those locations. And Nal Hutta, by the way, great world in Star Wars Legends. It's heavily explored, and especially Nar Shaddaa, very well explored also in, you know, aspects of Dark Empire and other Star Wars stories out there. I mean, we learn a lot about that. So I think that you know, given that Lucas is co-writing these two projects and how John and Dave are also going to be somewhat involved, basically what Lucas is setting out to do with Bob Chapek is to make sure that they get experienced writers and directors to handle these two projects very, very carefully because essentially it's going to cater to different fans. You have, of course, one side of the fandom that loves the Jedi, the Sith, the mythical side of Star Wars, right? All, the, all of that, the Force, the Jedi, etc. Then when you dive into Underworld, it's tied directly to crime syndicates, bounty hunters, you know, uh, dark side users that aren't necessarily Sith Lords. It's going to be very interesting to see that blend of Star Wars and exactly how they're going to balance things out for 2025. Again, 2025 really seems like it's going to be a very special year for Star Wars because 2022, 23, and 24 really build up to when Star Wars gets these bigger budget TV shows. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.